Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another episode of Help Me Rhonda where I like to help you do anything. It can be a recipe, tips, tricks, or anything like that. So if you guys need help with anything, go over to our community tab and click the picture and there'll be a photo over there for today's video and you guys can comment over there uh, anything you need help with. Or you can always contact us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all those links are in the description below. So for today's video, I'm showing you a recipe that I probably make once, maybe even twice a week. And this is actually my go-to recipe as well when I'm traveling because it's easy to travel with. And if many of you guys don't know, I am vegan. So this recipe is a vegan recipe, but by all means, if you want to add something in to customize it to your liking, feel free to do that. So we are actually gonna be making what's called a one pot Mexican quinoa. Now this recipe, I've actually seen many variations of it, like on Pinterest and things like that. Um, I've kind of adjusted a little bit of the ingredients and measurements to what I like and my taste. But um, yeah, you guys feel free to do the same thing. And I'll also be cooking it today in my Instant Pot. You do not need an Instant Pot for this recipe. First and foremost, if you're doing this on the stove, just follow the instructions on how to cook the quinoa on the stove and it'll turn out exactly the same. All right, but to get started, let's go over and go over the ingredients that we're going to be putting into today's dish. And we've already mentioned quinoa now there's um different kinds of quinoa this is white quinoa uh there's also like uh black quinoa and black and white mixture different kinds just always remember to use the instructions on the back if you're cooking them on the stove you're gonna need a can of black beans and you will drain and rinse these you'll need a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes this you got to get fire roasted. Try to find fire roasted if you can um, because fire roasted tomatoes just have an amazing flavor. You're going to need one cup of vegetable broth. And again, if you prefer to use chicken or beef broth, do that. You can even use water. I use the vegetable broth because it does add like a delicious flavor to it. You'll need about a cup and a half of corn. Now, I know I don't have enough corn in here. I usually use frozen corn which really makes me sad because I really love corn in this dish. And if you like avocado, have an avocado on hand as well. You do not need that. For the spices, we're gonna be using a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and probably a couple tablespoons of dried cilantro. Um, again, if you can get it fresh, by all means, use fresh cilantro. And we'll be using about a tablespoon or so of lime juice if you're using an actual lime it would just be the whole lime squeezed and we're going to be using three garlic cloves so i'm going to go ahead and get these garlic cloves diced up and in my instant pot and we're going to put this together all right so now that i have my garlic chopped i'm going to go ahead and turn my instant pot on saute and that's going to get it warm and i'm going to use just a little bit of vegetable broth now you can also use um, olive oil here if you prefer olive oil but i try not to use oil if i don't have to in my dishes so yeah i'm going to just coat the bottom here with a little bit of uh broth and that's what i'm going to soften my um, garlic cloves with so while that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and get my beans uh, drained and rinsed. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out one cup of my quinoa. Have any of you guys ever had quinoa? Um, I actually never even heard about it until I went vegan. There was a lot of things I discovered when I went vegan. Um, delicious food that I didn't even know existed. And so, yeah, basically it's, um, it's a super green, uh, and it doesn't really remind you of rice, but I guess it kind of could like satisfy your tasting for rice. If you, you know, were craving something like that, um, and you were trying to eat healthier then you know, by all means, this will be a healthy option. 
Now, quinoa can be quite expensive in the grocery stores. I buy mine at um, Aldi, and I think for this, it's $2.99. Uh, there is 16 ounces in here, and I believe I can usually get about two and a half of these dishes out of this one bag. So it's not terrible um, cost-wise, but it is a little more on the pricier side than like rice or something like that. All right, so everything is looking really, really good. I'm going to grab something to kind of stir this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna go ahead and start adding our ingredients. Um, we're gonna start with our first our can of tomatoes. And what's really nice is if you're using an instant pot by preheating uh, like this, your your pot is you know already warm so it doesn't take as long to heat up which is nice all right we're gonna go ahead and put our cup of quinoa in there and then we're gonna use a cup of vegetable broth okay i'm gonna go ahead and just pour in all my corn because this is all i got <laughs> i wish i had more usually i'll put more corn in than one and a half cups because I just love it so much. And now we'll go ahead and put the black beans in. And we're gonna go ahead and put a teaspoon of chili powder. Oh, I actually forgot an ingredient. You guys, forgot an ingredient. But that's okay because we can do it now. But when you do your um, garlic, you also want to put in one jalapeno pepper and let that soften with your garlic. I'm gonna use, uh, I have a jar of it, of diced jalapeno, so it'll be all right putting it in now. They're already soft anyway. You can't tell I like jalapeno a little bit. <laughs> I buy the big jar. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put some jalapeno in there. And again, with this dish, it's not really spicy, but it does have a little bit of a heat. So if you want to cut back like on the chili powder and do a half a teaspoon first, you can do that. You can omit the jalapeno pepper if you want. But look, I'm gonna put like two of these in there because I like it spicy. So that was probably about two tablespoons of jalapeno. But again, um, if you're using fresh jalapeno, it's just one pepper and you know, take the seeds out if you want to also decrease the heat in it because the seeds is where really a lot of the heat is anyway. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a quick toss here to incorporate everything, but it looks really good. It smells delicious. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. Make sure we are at sealing. I'm gonna go ahead and push manual and we're gonna let it cook for two minutes. Once it's done cooking for two minutes, you're gonna just let it sit for about 12 to 15 minutes, usually when your pin drops, uh, that is clear indication that the unit is cooled off enough to open it. And usually that's just enough. And then when we open it, we're gonna add the cilantro and the lime and cut up some avocado and have some lunch, you guys. I'm excited. All right, guys, I believe our one pot Mexican quinoa is ready. So we're gonna take our spoon here and just stir things up a bit looks good whenever your quinoa has that look of like it's kind of broke open that's when it's done all right so now we're going to go ahead and put some cilantro in and like i said i am a little generous with this because i love the flavor and now we're going to go ahead and squeeze in some of our lime juice and again this just makes it. I promise you, if you do not put the lime juice in, you are missing out. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, so now we have all those ingredients in, and I'm gonna go ahead and spoon some in our bowl here. And this is optional. If you do not like avocado, by all means, don't put it in there, but I promise you, you're missing out. I actually did not used to like avocado until going vegan, you guys. I'm telling you. When I changed my eating, uh, it was amazing the foods that I actually liked and didn't know I did like. I always thought it was kind of gross. I just never, it was never appealing to look at for me. I am not stingy with my avocado. This meal will last me for a long time. So I usually use the whole avocado. Yes, the whole thing. 
All right guys, so that is it. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick taste test because it's just good to taste test, right? Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Now, I used to actually eat these with the Tostito scoops, but then I was like, this is way too many calories and not eating as healthy as I could. So I don't use scoops anymore, but if you guys wanna use scoops with this, this is great to eat with tortilla chips. All right guys, so that's actually gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I am sure you will love it. So thanks for watching this episode of Help Me Rhonda, and we'll see you guys in the next video.